Hi, my name is Derek Davidson, and I'm an RBT at Brett DeNovi & Associates. Welcome to today's video, where we explore the fascinating realm of behavioral cusps, a pivotal aspect of behavior programming for new learners. Join us as we unravel the profound impact that behavioral cusps can have on an individual's lives, a topic often underestimated. Let's kick things off by defining what is a behavioral cusp. According to Rosales, Ruiz, and Bayer, 1997, a behavioral cusp is not just a behavior change, it's a gateway to further development. What sets it apart is its unique ability to expose an individual's repertoire to new environments, reinforcement, and punishment contingencies, responses, and stimulus controls. Identifying these cusps is akin to recognizing reinforcers. It's all about the effects stated in Fetchon and Fukua in 2001 paper, offering preliminary guidelines for targeting behaviors. Selecting behavioral cusps is a skill that behavior analysts should be well acquainted with and should treatment plan for when deciding what goals to select for learners. Now, let's dive into examples provided by Rosales, Ruiz, and Fares that vividly illustrate behavioral cusps. Crawling, a cusp that leads to walking, safety, and socialization. Walking, a transformative cusp that results in leg strength, active participation, and cognitive development. Reading fluency, an enriching cusp that enhances cognitive development and learning opportunities. Generalized imitation, socializing cusp that fosters social skills. Discrimination between positive and aversive attention, a vital cusp that improves parent-child relationships and social guidance. Job skills like activities, an impactful cusp where learning disposable income opens doors to teaching about housing, transportation, entertainment, and responsibilities. These examples highlight the applied nature of behavior analysis, emphasizing the individual's potential societal impact. Behavioral cusps create unique opportunities for growth that wouldn't otherwise be possible. Let's consider a non-example. Learning to balance in a tabletop position. While crucial for crawling, it doesn't independently offer the same expansive opportunities for growth. However, when combined with other responses like sliding knees and reaching hands, it becomes a crucial component of the larger cusp behavior of crawling. Not all cusps are inherently desirable, yet they significantly impact future contingencies. Teaching a child to ask for help before attempting something independently is vital for completing tasks correctly, but it can potentially hinder independence. Bashan Puri, 2001, suggests a systematic method for selecting target behaviors and programming encompassing the following subjects. Contacting new reinforcement, facilitating subsequent learning through prerequisite skills, competition with inappropriate responses, impacts on the learner, and potentially others and all above social validity. While various assessment methods address these considerations, practitioners must actively discern the why behind introducing targets, especially considering a behavior's cusp potential to unlock doors to previously unattainable experiences. Thank you for learning about behavioral cusp with us today. Please like and subscribe to help keep disseminating the science.